Here's to Condor 1. I've got that intel you requested on Louis Sarah. It seems he used to be a researcher for Umbrella. Umbrella? I should have left him in that bag to rot. <laughs> I'm sending you the details. Take a look, but Baby Eagle is your priority. Copy that. Making my way to the church. Condor 1, out. How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here, back again playing some more Resident Evil 4 Remake. This is Chapter 3, and we need to head for the church. This is kind of a long chapter, so hopefully you don't mind a longer episode, but it's packed with lots of action and lots of stuff. So, uh, first of all, I picked up the handgun ammo that I saw at the very end of the last episode, but we weren't able to pick it up before the cutscene triggered. Look at this little, like, box of bones. All right, let's get out of here. This place is creepy, right? Uh, before we leave, let me just make sure. Yeah, I do have a small key here. So, um, if we go to Inlay Gems, I noticed that there's a way to look at all the bonuses. So here we go. So this, I don't think these bonuses were in the original. Correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody knows, but I, I don't think all these color bonuses, I don't think it really mattered in the original. But now that we know, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll really pay attention to it that much, to be honest. Because we don't get gems very often, so when we do, it's like, I'm just going to use whatever I got type of thing. So I only need one more gem on that bad boy. Um, Alright. We should be good to go. I just want to see if I need some ammo. Craft some handgun ammo there. Alright. Okie dokie. Hope you all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. So we're going to exit the house and before we leave, remember that dog at the beginning too, huh? of, uh, or wolf I should say, I don't know. In the beginning of the original Resident Evil 4, it wasn't in this one. Well, it's, it's here. It's just in a different spot. Rescuing this wolf is a very good idea. You can just kill it if you want. Um, but if you... Or you can just ignore it, I guess. But if you rescue Take care it... Of yourself, buddy. He will help in a uh, later part of the game. That's all I'll say for now. So you definitely should rescue him. Uh, we already got the loot back here, I'm pretty sure. Just watch out for the traps on the ground. Yep, we already got the loot. So let's just get the heck out of this place. So, oh, 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 I almost went into that trap. Where's the gate? Oh, it's over here. So, this is the village chief's house, right? It's it's a pretty nice sized house for most people. And I like how it's by itself, too. He has a locked gate here to get to his house. And then this pathway, even though we came from like a different route, this is like the front gate. And it goes through this little cave right to the village. Grab some loot. Just some money in here. Nothing else. Just a little cave here. Uh, some bats. And then boom. Hello, buddy. I saw a villager there. This just takes us right back. Another gate. He, he really likes his security, I guess. Spikes on the top of the gate and everything. And boom, we're right back in the village. So, pretty cool spot. Separated from the village and yet pretty close at the same time all right so as you can see the village is a bit destroyed from the last time we were here and take a look at that remember the i knew that thing was going to be something because that was not in the original sorry I had to take a sip of coffee still waking up while i play um but yeah the grate is off the the sewer hole so now we can get in there uh, let me make sure i cleared out this room and everything yep all right let's Head on into the village. Oop, get the crow. Best thing about the bolt thrower, man. You don't have to worry about wasting bolts. How come I don't have any bolts? Can I craft some more bolts? I need uh, bigger resources, I guess. That's all right. As long as I got the two bolts. Um. Oh, yeah. Now that we have a small key, I believe there was a drawer in one of these buildings. 
that we can open. Maybe it was this one? Yep. Let's use the key. And get a vintage compass, which we can sell for some money. And I'm pretty sure we've already cleared out. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already cleared out pretty much everything else in the village. So let us continue. Let's try and get this crow. I don't think killing him was necessary, but whatever. Whoa! Okay, that was epic. Also, not in the original. Neither, neither were these dogs. Had to use a lot of pistol ammo, but we got him. Bet you that tower dropping uh, scared some of you. <laughs> Especially if you got the volume on high. Alright, got some handgun ammo back. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. What are you doing in here? I hear a trip mine. So did I not clear out this building? Let's look in this uh let's look in this house a little bit. I thought I cleared out this village, but I was a bit surprised to see that woman there. Alright, see, glad- look at this, first aid, handgun ammo, see? I'm glad we took an extra moment to f explore a little bit more. Let's go upstairs, there was a tripwire right there. Oh, this is where the shotgun was, so we have been here, it just restocked a little bit? Or did we miss all that stuff last time? Alright, cool. Alright, so we wanted to go in there, but this dang tower just broke. Why do I got the creepy music? Where's the villager? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's, I think he's on the other side. Let's go in here. Ooh. Another... Another trip mine? Okay. The music is such that there should be an enemy nearby. Oh, hi. I knew you were somewhere. Hand grenade. Ooh, that. I want to actually equip it to the right. And I want to put the shotgun down there. Nice. I'm still waiting to see like a snake. There's somebody over here. I thought I heard someone. Not bad, right? Takes a lot of durability, but whatever. I I don't like messing with those flog ass dudes. All right, cool. Um, so that's one way to get over here. I know there's actually another way. Oh, suplex. Body slam. First time I've killed somebody like that. Yeah, the other way to get over here is through here. Let's actually just jump down here because I know there's probably some items down here. And another rat. Well, let's get the barrels. Just some money, and money is always useful, you know what I mean? So for any of you who are watching, I'm curious, uh, let me know in the comments how many of you have played or beaten the original and or not. If this is if you're watching this and you've never played the original, so we don't even have to let's just go back down. I imagine most people have played the original cuz it's such a good one and it's been re-released on so many consoles, but um, let me know. If there's still somebody out there who hasn't is interested in this, don't worry about playing the original. You can just get this one. It's really good. The original is fun too. If you get it on sale or something. All right. 
Let's finally go in this door that we saw everybody go into on episode one. There's probably going to be some loot in here, so... Snake! Oh, I knew there'd be a snake. Viper. Those little crates up there, like at eye level, they tend to have the crates, uh, snakes, but sometimes the ones on the ground too, as well. Thought I heard something. So what, they have like a little gathering here and... Look at all the skulls! My goodness, they have sacrificed so many people. Lord Sadler. I'm coming for you. Worth the wasted pistol shot. Oh my goodness, is this bloodborne or... Sleep well and flourish, dear child. As your body grows, your mother's shall sew new clothes. At seven quintal of wheat and half a bull a day, you have outgrown your pen. Flourish, dear child, for the sake of your brothers and sisters who cannot. Okay, well that is uh, not in the original as well and also very, very creepy looking. Definitely Bloodborne-esque. If you've, if you've never played Bloodborne, excellent game. Very difficult though. Alright, what do we got in here? Some more shotgun shells. That's always handy. Another note or something. First aid spray. Oh my goodness. Generous. So generous. I think that's it in here. Just gonna really quickly look around in here, make sure we didn't miss anything. Okie dokie, let's head on through the door. Ah, say, oh, a merchant. Totally forgot that there was a merchant around here. All right, we got 100 pesetas. What's this? Ah, uh, it's advertising the bolt thrower, and I already got it, so we're good on that. I have something I think you like. I think if you didn't buy the bolt thrower the first time he has it, he wants me to sell him three vipers. All right. Uh, he'll discount it this this time. So Welcome. If you didn't buy it Got last time, on sale, definitely stranger. buy it this time. All right. Let's sell the pearl pendant, the vintage compass, Ruby's all velvet blues. No difference. The price, well, we need to sell three vipers. And I'm going to sell Leon's gun. We don't need it. We can always buy it back, I'm pretty sure. We're just going to use the Sentinel-9 for now. Well done, stranger. We could get the Punisher once we trade in our quests, but um, might as well upgrade. Fight, see how that feels, man. Like yourself should notice the difference right away. Actually, can I buy the recipe for bolts and Knowledge for flash grenades? Remember that, mate. Now I can craft my own bolts, so I don't really need that. And I guess we can increase the power of our bolt thrower. I mean, Knife the good thing about try that on for size. The good thing about the uh, weapons in this game is you can resell them for like the full amount. Like if you upgraded. Your weapons are in good hands, mate. I'll see you. Right. Okay, there we go. We'll I got some more bolts. Anytime. If you upgrade a weapon and then you don't want it anymore, you get all your upgrade money back too. So like, don't even worry about it. All right, let's go ahead and save. He keeps talking when I'm trying to talk. It's kind of annoying. All right, fully stocked and ready to continue our adventure. Keeping our eyes peeled for bear traps and also for like bird nests or things up in this tree like that. Rifle ammo. I don't even have a rifle. Let's just, can I just send it to storage? I guess not right now. Actually, let's go back to the typewriter and put a rifle. I don't need the rifle ammo in my inventory like at all. Since we're this close, let's just storage. 
Rifle ammo. I can't put rifle ammo in storage? What? Isn't that the whole point of uh, storage? Stench of battle on you, mate. <laughs> kind of dumb. In the original, you could. Uh, pretty dang sure. Pretty dang sure you could put ammo in storage in the original. That's really weird. <coughs> All right. Ooh, we're at the graveyard. Let's see if we can hit this crow. A church. I made it. There was another crow, but he flew away. Dang it. Oh, there's a guy there. I hear another one. Where are you at? Ah, oh, there you are. Not gonna waste ammo on you if I don't have to. Just making sure he's dead. Any more? Anyone want some more of this? I hear. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Anytime I can hear a lantern, I gotta look around. Ooh, that was an emerald too. Now I can socket the uh, the mask, I think. Oh, baby. That is nice. Look at that money. 40,000 for this necklace, guys. 40,000. That's why you want to socket things. More handgun ammo, we take that. And some more resources, we definitely take that. Speaking of resources, I don't... I mean, I guess I can craft some... I uh, guess I'll craft a flash grenade. And some shotgun shells. Oh, I can't. All right. Let's set the flash to... Oh, it's already there. All right, cool. All right. Um, I already played this part on my other save, and I know that there's a quest to knock these out. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a knife anymore, I guess, so... In the original, there's a, uh, a quest with the twins, and these had identical, and then in this one, you just got to break them. In the original, I think you had to spin them or something. So, boom. Take care of those. I guess I could have used my bolt thrower, probably. Just making sure there's no more loot over here, though. Alright, guys. We made it to the church. Supposedly, <laughs> this is where Ashley is. At least, that's where she is in the original. I'm assuming that much is the same. Damn it. Need another key. Gundar one to roost. The church is sealed up. And Baby Eagle? Negative. Nothing yet. But they sure do have this place locked up tight. I see. I can think of one reason they'd want to do so. Oh, she's here. That's for sure. I'll find a way in. Condor one, out. Funny how the front door is like double gated like locked door and gates and then right over here to the side there's like an open side entrance <laughs> but before we go in there let's walk all the way back because pretty sure there's some loot somewhere around here also if you didn't break those graves uh those tombs or tombstones or whatever the quest to do so is around here, I think, behind this church. Another flash grenade. Oh, that is so nice. Thank you. Oh, I probably should heal. I mean, I have a lot of health potions anyways, right? 
Um, eh, why not? Wish I had more yellow herbs so I could increase my health, but whatever. Alright, what's in here? We got a map of El Lago. A pest from the outside has come for the girl. Lock her in the church and await orders from our Lord. Until then, keep the church door shut. The key will be held in the cave on the other side of the lake. The monster will deal with the fool intruder. I think that's what it said. Lake. Let's hope for no more surprises. Ooh. Photo of Ashley? Keep her locked in the church until the appointed time. Same photo I had. Interesting. Oh. Well, there's another locked door we need a, key, a small key for. Alright, we can go ahead and save right here. A lot of saves here. I don't know why it's not super difficult. Into the cellar of the church. Or the crypt. Oh, nope, we're back outside. Also, we can unlock this door for another little shortcut. And we're at the front of the church again. I'm pretty sure there should be blue medallions we can shoot as well. Maybe we just don't have that quest yet so we can't see them. Oh, that's where we came from. <laughs> Lago. Just means lake. Pretty sure. Lord Sadler. Hit him with some bolts. Ooh, he burned up too. Explosive barrel here too, so if we can lure... Oh, he got back up even though he's on fire. Good thing we burned him. That was actually quite pro. Hey, buddy. Wow, two shots and you're dead. Some gunpowder. Got another snake. Oh, buddy, that was that was close. You almost got the drop on me. I actually heard him coming. I was just more interested in the snake. Oh, hi. Uh, follow me. I want to show you something over here. It's really cool. Right over here, guys. Slow down. Slow down. Wait for your friend. There you go. Oh, my... That was gory. They blew up into chunks. Look at their tentacles coming out. Oh, you want some too? Let's get our bolts back. Some of them anyway. Now we can go up the ladder. My piece. My Whoa. Careful where you're throwing that. And they're coming from back this way, too. Okay, don't know how that didn't hit. How am I missing these bolts, man? Oh, no, 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 no. You need to die. Where did my bolt go? I thought... Don't throw that at me, bro. Oh my goodness. You know what? We're gonna hop down. A little secret down here. Got one of my bolts back, or two. Hey, lady, stop throwing that, please. <laughs> Did he say, oh, no. <laughs> all right, got all five of my bolts back now. Cool. I didn't take any damage here. That's pretty good. What is that noise? This board is really weird. 
And I hear another creaking sound. Ah. Actually, let's hop down first. So, if I sh Oh, there's more coming from behind? Are you kidding me? Y'all wanna come closer? Idiots. Really. Whoa, you're kinda close. Okay. Free money, I mean, I don't mind. Alright, where was I? Don't worry about that. We will get that later. We just gotta get down there first. Not sure where that is, but we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Alright, now we're done over here. Let's get out of here. That place wasn't so bad. Let's get some loot over here real quick. So, I already found one more viper. I think we only need one more. Also, I learned you can shoot those things and they will explode. So, like, if I want to lure some people to it, I could potentially do that. Ooh, what's this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is, like, the way forward. I need to go check out... Oh, no. Is it just a door over there or was there loot? I know there's a door, but... Is it just... Okay, it's just a door. Loot's on the other side, actually. So, I was right to just ignore it and go this way, but... Always want to be sure, you know what I mean? Already a half an hour in. We're actually making good time. We might be able to finish this episode in an hour. We'll see. Look at that good hammer. Luck finding someone big enough to use this thing. Hmm. That's a large weapon. Ah, here we go. Five more blue medallions. And they do appear on my map. Let's make sure we don't miss this one. It's just right by the quarry, which we're about to enter. All right, there's a couple ways to go about this. We can either either shoot them with our crossbow, um, or we can just throw a flash grenade in there. And if we throw a flash, it'll kill all of them, I'm pretty sure, so. <laughs> pretty epic, right? Oh, dang it. Get away. Get away. I heard of you. Where are you at? Come on. Look at all this loot. Oh, from one flash, pretty much. Yeah. Grenade, bolt, sapphire, money, money, velvet blue. Don't worry about the noises you hear coming on the other side of this gate. I should throw a grenade over it. Some more money. Got some bolts. And I don't think there's a whole lot more to loot. I'll just check over here real quick. Oh. Money, money, money. Alright, we're done. We got a lot of stuff. I'm like trying to think of things to craft just so we can get rid of stuff. Flash grenades are really useful, so... I don't mind crafting those. Ooh. I hear... Another one? Another ruby, man. We're getting a lot of gems. Let's see. Ooh. If I get one more red or blue, I could do a triple, and that does a big bonus. So I think I'm going to do that. Wait till we get a triple. All right, let's keep going. 
This is the final section before the boss, kind of. Maybe not. I shouldn't say final section. It, it is a section, but it's a really big section, I guess. It's kind of <laughs> split into subsections. So it's, it's a pretty big part coming up here, but it's a fun part. And then after that, we're going to fight the boss in the lake. The lake monster. I love the purple flame, man. It just looks so cool. You see that purple flame and your heart just leaps for joy because you don't have to be in this hellhole anymore. You, you know you found a place of safety for a moment. A safe haven. Ooh. We're going to go up that elevator, uh, but first, let's just explore a little bit around here. Hexagon piece. And if we drop down here, there's some more loot. Even though we can't go anywhere here yet. Let's get that money. I think there's one of those castle guys around here too. I don't remember exactly. Oh, I don't have a small key. I hear it. Oh, I hear it, but I don't see it. Aha. Okay. I think that's all we can do back here. We'll we'll come back for that uh chest when we have another small key. And Yep. There are enough weapons here to get a party going. <laughs> Good stuff, stranger. What can I interest you in? Well, let's sell this, this, and this. Valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Fifty thousand. We also need to sell the viper. Well done, stranger. And with that, let's repair the Good knife. Upgrade its durability. Fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. We could increase the ammo capacity on our bolt thrower or something. I kind of want to just upgrade the Sentinel Nine some more. How if about? If you want a fighting chance, out reload there, speed. You best tune up. We're starting to get an idea of your taste. Although I don't have to reload very often, to be honest. The reload speed on the bolt thrower is terrible. Let's upgrade Dazzled that. Since we're rich. <laughs> our craftsmanship demands no. The thing about, like I said, like upgrading weapons, you might as well because a well-tuned weapon can make up for a you can sell it back. lack of skill, friend. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. We need Little more. Goes a long way. You come back any time. Hey, you got chips? Can I have some of those? Let's go ahead and save up. Alrighty, and before we go, there should be a place where we can put those hexagonal pieces, but I'm not seeing it. Was it down here and I just missed it? Where is it? I don't remember where it was. It's not over here. It's not over there. It's not down here. And so it must be upstairs. Alright, let's go look upstairs again. I could be cr going crazy. But I could have sworn there was a place. Maybe it's up here. My guy's panting like I'm injured, so I should probably heal. Yeah. Barely any damage taken, and my guy acts like he's dying. Uh, now let's just go up the elevator. Ooh, an actual loading screen. Welcome, stranger. I believe this is your 
Token machines. You can use three silver or gold tokens to win a random charm. The more gold tokens you use, the greater chance of getting a rare charm. Time, I'm gonna go with talking practice. There's only one rule. Shoot the target. Alright, let's do some uh, target practice. Destroy the pirates. You can destroy several by hitting dynamite. Don't hit a sailor. Okay. As they pop up. Simple enough, am I right? This is fun. If I always do like well, doing this. I'll make it worth your while knickknacks and whatnot. Anyway. Um Alright, let's do this one. I just need to get at least seven thousand. So if I get a headshot or something, or hit him in that skull, it does even more. No! Dang it! How'd I do? Hey? Yeah, I did pretty bad. I did pretty bad. Let's try again. I got, I got, I got like a B, not an A. Alright, this time, for real. No! What'd I get, what'd I get, what'd I get? Oh my gosh, so close. This is actually hard. But I did better than last time. Every plus 1,000? And every skull obtained. Three, oh, wow. Two, one. Shit. Oh, I didn't even see there was a... Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Good thing it doesn't cost anything to play. You can play as many times as you want. I didn't even see the dynamite guy. That makes a huge difference. Okay, I shouldn't have to reload again, right? If I'm good. Bonus? What? No! There was one more skull thing there. Well, I definitely got it. Dang, that was... That was actually pretty epic. Alright, well, I'm gonna do the rest of those later. But, let's get a token, shall we? What do we get? Weird, but okay. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh, Let's see what no. charms we got. I got a chicken plus 100% for eggs. All right, cool. We'll, we'll do that. In but the finest way. Alrighty, I think we're good here, so let's continue on to the boss. The boss. Come on. 
Gotta press A again. Some dudes just fishing on the lake. Hey, look, it's the body of our decapitated police friend. So one of them got burned, and one of them burned at the stake. <coughs> and the other one got decapitated and then tossed in a lake to be eaten. What was that? It was a big goldfish. Pretty cool looking lake. You can see a castle up there. All right. Let us continue on down here. Talking about where to get the boat fuel, I already know, but before we go get the boat fuel, let's loot this place up. I don't think there's any enemies here either, which just makes it pretty easy to loot. Another hand grenade in there. Uh, I got some money. How come I can't pick up that butcher knife, man? Meat cleaver. There's the boat. Wait, can I shoot that? Okay, I guess some lanterns you can shoot and some you cannot. And oh my goodness. We best not miss the blue emblems, right? Or blue medallions. Did I already miss some? I feel like I did, dang it. I did. There was one right by the quarry, and I'm like, let's not forget that one, and then I instantly forgot. But seeing that one made me remember, so. Ah, here's the thing I was looking for. I knew it was by the merchant. All right, let's just put that one, I guess, right there. And get some more money got another kitchen knife or oh, yellow herb that is that is what I wanted to see uh, but I don't have any green herbs dang we're actually getting pretty full on the uh, inventory alrighty let's go back up the ladder now ooh I just remembered there's a small key in the zone uh, that we're going to next so that that locked cabinet actually let's go back because I don't want to miss the blue medallion we're gonna go back anyways to talk to the merchant but see this one right here gosh dang it man we're gonna go back anyways I th I'm pretty sure but I want to go back and get it now before I forget It's not that far. Just over here somewhere. Okay, it should be somewhere on our right. Actually. Oh, whoa, way up there. Look at that. Easy to miss. Okay, now we can continue on. Wait, is handgun ammo right there? Where? Where's the handgun ammo? Over here? Oh, just chilling there, huh? I walked right by it. Wow. I was more worried about flashbanging all the crows, that's why. Alright, now that we're secure on the medallions... Let us continue. And that little cabinet back there, we can't open yet, so don't worry about it. We need some kind of special key to open that. I haven't been able to find one yet. Here we go. And I gotta press A again on this door every time. Some doors you can just walk through, others you gotta press A. It's kind of weird. Alright, here we go. Finally, we're going to the last section before the boss. All we got to do now is get the boat fuel. And then we're good. And let's see. Before... Actually, no, I got to walk in here, I guess. Okay. So there's three medallions in here. The, the final three. There's also a lot of 
vipers. There's a uh, fish that you can get. There's a uh, that's treasure. And I believe there's a shack. That one right there, I think, has the small key in it. So this should be fun. A lot of enemies too here. Hmm. Forgot about that. Sorry about the jump scare. Let's just hide right here, shall we? Ooh, look at that guy. Got the viper. We might be able to shank the big guy. Hey, big guy, will you come back down here? I think he will. I'm like sitting here in a swamp. Kind of gross. This is going to wake everyone up, isn't it? Alright, let's just uh, let everybody know we're here. Screw it. Bro, the big pig guy didn't even see us. Maybe I can go shank him real fast. Okay, hi buddy. Oh, I can dodge that? Good to know. And now I have an excuse to use this. Actually, if I use the egg, it like heals me major. I can also eat the viper for, for healing, but we need to sell those. Let's just uh, shotgun this dude. That should do it. One of my crossbow bolts I missed. Hi, buddy. I gotta watch behind me as well, make sure they don't sneak up on me. Nice try. There's also um, some explosive barrel. That's how you get out of here. So that's like the last place we need to go. I know there's some explosives around here. Let's go back down. There's no fish in here either. Sometimes you gotta look around for the fish. Let's go under here. I know there's still a lot more enemies, so we gotta be kinda careful. Let's just sneak around. Oh, somebody sees us. Guess we don't need to sneak then. Really, buddy? Handgun ammo is pretty cheap, so, like, I don't mind. Ooh, nice try. You guys look like twins. Dang it. The reload time on this bolt thrower is a bit ridiculous. It also takes me like 10 minutes just to hold it up, which is also kind of annoying. Hey, 
Right in the face! Just say. Okay, where were we? Let's fully explore, because there's definitely a lot to loot around here. Treasure right here. An antique bike. I hear the beeping. Killed something. Maybe another viper. Got another fish. Whoa, 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 buddy. Calm down. Whew. His head just exploded. There it is. Thought I heard another snake around here. Wait, I didn't hit it? There we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, right in the head. Wait, there's still something more down here? Another fish? Oh, no room? I guess I'll just eat the fish. Heal up. I hear the beeping. But, ah, here it is. Still uh, more enemies around here, so we gotta be careful. Just wanna get all the loot and disarm both of these. I think there's another one. Yep, right here. And I can hear something swimming in the water. Where is it? Let's explore. Oh, hi. Bro, I, are you kidding me? I guess we have to craft. Shotgun shells. Is there another snake around here? Because I thought I just heard one. Aha. Snakes are worth a thousand each. So it's actually good to have them. Dang, like, I'm out of inventory space. I guess let's craft some more bolts. I do like the bolt thrower. I think I hear another snake. Gosh, they're everywhere. Where are they at? Alright, well, before anything, let's grab the key. This will allow us to unlock that cupboard um, down below the merchant headquarters. And also, oh, there it is. There was a place I wanted to go. Yeah, under here. More treasure. Another hexagon piece, which is actually super important. One more medallion, which is in the area. We just got to remember to hit it before we leave. Otherwise, I think um, we're pretty good to go. Did I loot in here? No, I need to get the, the fuel. Don't worry about inventory space with that. This is what I'm talking about. I hear what sounds like something that can be shot. 
Maybe it's outside. I don't see it, but I can... Oh, nope. There it is. Ooh, silver token. All right. Okay. Let's head on up here. We're almost done with this place. Pretty sure some more guys will enter. Yep, look at them coming. Crazy woman. Oh my goodness. As soon as I saw it, it was too late. Well, that's okay. I really need to heal. Let's just eat uh, one of these vipers. Hi guys, are you really sure you want to come and fight me? Well, you can see me, I'm right here, come and get me. There's a few more coming as well. Um, I do want to get that loot right there. I also want to get the loot right there. They're coming up the ladder, all right, cool. This is an easy way to kill them. Safe place to shoot my bolts where there's a wall right there, you know what I mean? Can't shoot while, while crouching, apparently. Missing my bolts for some reason. <laughs> oh, that took almost no bur durability on my real knife. Just those kitchen knives, it takes a ton of durability. Alright, that should be all of them. Maybe there's one more down there, but... Let's drop down to the loot over here I couldn't get otherwise. So I gotta drop down over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop running, dude. Get the loot. And then that barrel we can get pretty easily. Don't know how I missed it, but probably one or two more people walking around, so we just gotta be careful. And there's the last medallion, too. I just saw it. Good thing, because I probably would have forgotten. Didn't mean to jump down here. He did it automatically. Last one. Cool. Hey, what are you doing over there? You guys are on the wrong side. Really? You're going all the way up there? Well, we don't even need to kill these guys. We're pretty much done with this area. We got the key. We got the hexagon emblem. We got the treasure. We got all the medallions. Oh, it shows the bolt on the map. That's pretty cool, actually. But I don't really care that much about it, to be honest. Um, so now we just need to leave. And to leave, we need... Actually, no, I think I was going the right way. Oh, hey, you finally made it. I mean, if you get this close to me, I guess I will kill you. Ooh. There's something in the water over here. Ooh, a black bass. Dude, my inventory is literally packed. Let's get out of here. If I can remember how. Go this way. There we go. Oh, there's the bolt. 
I missed. That was my bad. That's all right. I want to use some of my healing items anyway. No, I missed the bolt. You moved, you bully. Out of the way. Dang it, my bolt is over there. Oh well. I can always craft more if I need to. For how much ammo I save, you know what I mean? If I lose a bolt every now and then, it's not a big deal cuz I'm save I'm retrieving them so often that I save so much handgun ammo otherwise. All right. Where was that emblem or that item that fell down? Like when I was, sh I don't know where it went. But whatever. Let's go back to the merchant real quick before we fire up the boat. So we can uh, loot that one chest, or I mean loot the cabinet and um, see if there's any upgrades or anything we want to do before we go fight the boss. We're not going to actually use guns to fight the boss, but even so. All right, where was it? There was a cabinet around here, right? Was it upstairs? I thought it was down here. Yep. What we get? Brass pocket watch. Those small keys come in handy, man, especially if you can remember where the small cabinets are that they <laughs> that you need. All right, let's see if we can sell and then we'll save. <laughs> Oh yeah, and another mission. Four what spinals. In? So what can we get? I can get the Punisher. It's basically a better pistol. And that, in if fact, I think I will. Money can't buy. Let's sell that. Let's sell that. Let's sell those. Valuables won't do you much good in the sell the Vipers. I don't need them. I'll keep one, I guess. Or one or... Eh, I'll keep two in case I need to heal. The Sentinel-9 I'm going to sell as well. Look at 46,000 because of all the upgrades. This is what I'm talking and about. now let's get the Punisher. The oh, Punisher God, is cool because it shoots through enemies. So you can, you can hit multiple. Just about anything. And I like power. And now we can tune up our Punisher like to the max because we have a hundred thousand. See how that feels, mate. Reload like speed. Should notice the difference right away. Ammo. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm rich. <laughs> our craftsmanship demands no less. I'm rich. Why not? Let's do ammo capacity. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. Dazzled, are you? Sure, I'm dazzled. <laughs> our craftsmanship. I just have a lot of money, bro. That's the only thing. Uh, let's look at our storage. Wow. So I have. What you see <laughs> is what I. I got like 15 grenades. We're gonna destroy the next boss we find. I guess I'm gonna sell the vipers because I already got some bass. I got a lot of healing items. Really, I don't really need. Let's just sell the vipers. They take up a lot of inventory space. Well, well. I can certainly do something. All right. Um, I mean, we could tune up some more. I guess we have so much money. Knife needs care every once in a while. Reload speed. Load three times. Try cool. that on for size. See how that feels, mate. A fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. We can always Try sell this to get size. all the money back. So don't even worry about the money. Pretty much. We're good. We're good. Nice work. Well then, what can I do you for? I only need three more uh, of these, oh, and then I can get the laser. Bro, our pistol. It shoots through enemies now. We have a we have seven grenades. We have a really upgraded bolt thrower. Oh yeah. And shotgun. I'm not upgrading because we're gonna get a different shotgun pretty soon. All right, guys, let's go ahead and save. This will be the last typewriter before we go fight the boss. Let's go fight the boss.
Thankfully, this boss is pretty easy, so don't sweat it. It's actually easier in the remake than it was in the original as well. Because you can actually steer the boat a lot better in this one. Let's put our hexagon piece in there. We just need one more, it looks like. And off we go, guys. Let's set sail. Wish me luck. I, I say it's easy, and now I'm probably going to look like a fool and die, but we should be able to one-shot this. Then we'll be done with the chapter. Here we go. And of course the motor dies in the middle of the lake. Where the lake monster is. All right, let's get this party started, shall we? <laughs> Just random stumps, like, sticking out of the water. There we go. Hey, fishy fishy. Let's harpoon him. Harpoon his ass. He looks almost like a salamander. Wow, this is so easy. Are you even a boss or are you just like a normal little enemy? Kind of hard to tell. You're literally just running away while I harpoon you over and over. Alright, I gotta watch the bumps. Infinite ammo too, which makes it pretty easy. Come on. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? How do you like that? Think you can swallow me whole, huh? Pathetic. I see a lot of loot, but we're gonna have to come back for the loot. I wish he had a health bar, cause we are doing so much damage. And how many harpoons are in this boat? Oh, he did not like that. He did not like that one bit. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hi. Can't sneak up on me. Shouldn't be too many more of these and he will be dead. Whoa, 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 that was cool. You tough son of a bitch. Just die. My throwing arm getting tired here. How many times do I gotta impale this? There we go. And then he ate the entire boat in one gulp. Don't know why he didn't just, like, attack the boat directly. It wouldn't have even been a fight, but... Stupidly, he just kept swimming away from the boat and getting impaled over and over and over and over and over. But, hey, it's just a fish. Fish don't have the biggest brains. Oh, Leon, you don't look so hot. You alright, buddy? I'll take that as a no. And that is the end of chapter three. Took about an hour, which was expected. It's a pretty long chapter, but a good chapter. We got so much loot. We upgraded 
Our weapons. We did we did a lot. Let's look at our results. Zero deaths. A new peak on accuracy? Oh no, just no. We only got damaged six times. And we killed 44 enemies. That's really good. We're getting better at this game, I think. That was that was the longest chapter though. Took uh, about as long as the first two combined. Alright guys, well, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. Be sure to subscribe. This is Lucian Sword. Looking forward to seeing you in Chapter 4. Take it easy, friends.